President of Adams State College, Dr. David Savaldi, and the Platform Party. and letters, faculty, and graduates.
faculty and graduates. <clears throat> faculty and graduates. faculty and graduates. Mathematics and Technology, faculty and graduates.
Mr. Matthew Martinez, President of ASNF, will now lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I ask you all to please remove your hats and put your hand over your hearts. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. Um, please be seated. We will now listen to some special music, uh, Marceau de Concord, performed by Tracy Doyle Flute and Dr. William Lipke, piano. Now please welcome Dr. David Soldi, President of Adams State College. Good morning, everyone. Welcome. Uh, are these almost graduates excited? <laughs> Pretty good. I I'm old. I had trouble hearing you. But, um, We've got folks here from uh, really as far away as France, and we uh, welcome all of you who came and drove the foggy roads to make this wonderful uh, opportunity to celebrate this special day with our graduates. Uh, now it's my pleasure to introduce Mr. Steve Valdez, the chair of the Adams State College Board of Trustees. Steve? First of all, I'd like to say congratulations to all of you on your accomplishment. You've basically prepared yourself today for tomorrow. And I know you've heard me say this, but I really believe that. And continue this as you walk out these doors throughout the walks of life. 
I really want to say thank you in two different ways. First of all, to your support staff, whether it be parents, guardians, partners, grandparents, across the aisle, the great faculty we have, administration, staff, our CFO Bill Manchine, and our great president, Dr. Savaldi. Thank you. The second part I'd like to say and thank you is thank you to all of you for choosing Adams State College. Believe it or not, you've already accomplished something most people don't do in a lifetime. You've given back to Adams State through the student capital construction fee, assuring future students will have the best facilities to get an education. Thank you. By 2016, we will have invested $65 million in our facility improvements, making our academic buildings, laboratories, student housing, and other facilities the best in the state. You have already played a part in this. And again, I say thank you. Lastly, thanks to my colleagues, the Board of Trustees, who volunteer their time. They've also had a vision in a down economy to make Adams State College the best affordable education. And at this time, I'd like to introduce my colleagues, if you could all rise. From the, hold on, from the front range, we have Mr. Charles Scoggin. Ms. Mary Griffin, Anne Rice, Student Trustee Kenny Scally, my Vice Chair Arnold Salazar, a local trustee, from Pueblo County, Buffy McFadden, and local trustee Leroy Salazar from the Valley also. And I believe faculty trustee Carol Guerrero Murphy is out there someplace, maybe not. And also Tim Walters, who cannot be here today. Thank you and good luck. And now we have a message from this graduating class, Ms. Melissa Slimp. Melissa? President Tripp falling up here. Whew. Okay, here we go. Two minute speech, you guys ready? Not even joking, like someone timed me. Two minute speech. <laughs> they say hindsight is 2020. Well, now that I'm standing here, I can definitely agree because if I knew how nervous I'd be right now, I would never have agreed to do this. But you didn't come to hear me talk. Well, some of you did, but that's really not the point. Today is about us the class of 2011. Today is the day that we get to look back and say, yes, great things did begin here. That's kind of vague, isn't it? Today, we are lucky enough to have our friends and family celebrating one of the happiest and scariest parts of our lives. Today, we are surrounded by people who have seen us grow and who have helped us through it all. Some of them saw us in diapers. These are the people who are crying in the stands. Then there are the people who saw us in class every day. These are the people who just laughed as we walked into class in our pajamas, hungover. <laughs> and last but not least, we have the people who stuck with us through it all. We had ridiculous phases. I know I had like five or six. They, we had late night study sessions and frustrating relationships. These are the people who have made our college life what it is. I mean, what it was. To all of my friends, professors, and family, I'd like to say thank you for everything you have done for me and for getting me through these last four years. I couldn't have done it without you. 
Fellow graduates, this is a time to remember. Sure, we will all remember the annoying roommate who never took out the trash, the late nights cramming for a final, and the parties we shouldn't have gone to but did anyway. But this is what all of that was for. Just think, most of us will never have to take another final, study for another test, or do another homework assignment. And that makes me very happy. Most of us will be moving out of this town onto bigger and better things, whether it be grad school, a job, marriage. I know, I won't grow up either. I think most of us are in the same boat. We're excited to be done, but nervous for the real world. Just remember, if you can make it this far, you can make it the rest of the way. Howard Thurman said, don't ask what the world needs. Ask what makes you come alive and go do it. Because what the world needs is people who come alive. Congratulations, class of 2011. Don't fall when you get your diploma. Thank you, Melissa. Does anybody have their pajamas on today? I, I mean, we can't tell under those robes. Our commencement speaker today defies the popular wisdom that you can't achieve, achieve distinction in your own hometown. Not only has Christina Martinez achieved recognition in her native Costilla County, she's making things better for her fellow citizens throughout the San Luis Valley and the state of Colorado. She was named the 2011 San Luis Valley Person of the Year in recognition of her work. Ms. Martinez is a Costilla County Commissioner, the state's youngest, and Executive Director of CarePoint, a multi-share health access program. In 2009, she was honored as a Colorado Young Democrat of the Year and Colorado and Freshman County Commissioner of the Year. Ms. Martinez graduated from Alamosa High School in 2000 and earned a BA in Spanish and Sociology from The Colorado College in 2004. Now she's working on a master's degree in political science from the University of Colorado at Denver, but we won't hold that against her. Her service to Castilla County began while she was in high school, working summers as administrative assistant to the clerk and recorder. Now as a county commissioner, she administers the annual budget for all county departments and cultivates outside sources for funding to leverage county dollars. As Executive Director of CarePoint, Ms. Martinez works to expand access to health care and decrease the rates of insurance persons in the San Luis Valley. She also represents her com community through numerous local, regional, statewide, and national organizations concerned with health care, nonprofits, human services, economic development, and historic pre preservation. She's a former chairperson of the San Luis Valley County Commissioners Association and past president of Colorado Association of Local Boards of Health. She recently attended a meeting at the personal invitation of President Obama. Ms. Christina Martinez offers a stellar example to you, our graduates, of what can be achieved when you focus on commitment to your community. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Christina Martinez. Thank you very much, President Savaldi. Thank you to the faculty, trustees, alumni, friends, and family that are here today. And thank you to those that we are honoring, the 2011 graduates of Adams State College. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to be here with you today. It is an honor, privilege, and inspiration to celebrate the success and accomplishments of so many talented graduates. I also want to thank my parents, Roy Martinez and Stella Rodriguez, for being here today, for being there for all of the special moments in my life. And also my Auntie Diana, who has always served as an inspiration throughout my life. My family truly is my rock, my unwavering supporters. I love you with all my heart. If someone told me that I would be a public servant living in San Luis as I was graduating from college in 2004, I probably would have laughed. But here I am, living a dream I didn't even know existed when I was sitting where you are today. That is a great part of the unknown, of time and of life. We never know where it is going to take us or what opportunities lie ahead of us. 
I started working for Costilla County shortly after graduation, thinking it was a passing phase, a time for me to figure out what my next real step would be. But something changed. As time went on, I learned that county commissioners touch nearly every part of people's day-to-day -day lives, maintaining roads, guiding planned growth and economic development, working with and providing benefits to youth, families, senior citizens, the disabled, and veterans, managing millions of dollars in revenues, overseeing public libraries, improving water and sanitation services. I could go on and on, but you get the point. I was amazed. I was amazed at how many decisions were made in that office by three county commissioners. And to me, the opportunities were endless. I saw a community, my community, with new eyes and saw opportunities to have a positive impact, to be a change agent, and to be a valuable contributing member of my community. This was my next step. I remember my first assignment was to develop a curriculum for a summer youth program to improve our traditional agricultural irrigation system. I had never de developed a curriculum. I had never worked with youth. But I figured it out. After a few weeks, the curriculum was prepared and the kids were helping improve our community. My second assignment was to write a grant to acquire a 1,200-acre ranch for open space. I had never written a grant. I didn't even know what open space was, but I figured it out. We were awarded a $500,000 grant. The ranch is conserved in perpetuity with an easement, and now the community has an accessible resource for their enjoyment. So why do I mention these two particular projects? Because I knew absolutely nothing about either topic. There are going to be times in your life that you will be faced with challenges you know absolutely nothing about but you too will figure it out. I asked questions, I Googled, and I learned. This is lesson number one, keep learning. Life is about continuously learning. With every experience, with every challenge, with every job, with every relationship, you learn about yourself, you learn about others, and you learn about the world around you. I truly believe that if someone thinks they are an expert, that they know it all, it is time for them to walk away from whatever it is that they are doing. One of the reasons that I love what I do is that there is always something new to learn. And I hope that you too will always keep learning at every stage of your career path, whether you have been working a few weeks or months or years. We can always learn something new. Learn from your success. Learn from your mistakes. Just keep learning. Working for Costilla County taught me about my community, its people, and me. Time passed and the 2008 election season became a topic of conversation. Because of term limits, it was unknown who would represent my district as a Costilla County Commissioner. People in my community asked and encouraged me to run. It wasn't part of my plan to be a candidate, but the opportunity presented itself. This is lesson number two. Be open to opportunity. You never know what might come your way. A promotion, a transfer to another location, a new job, or an entire career change. You have to be willing to open your eyes, ears, mind, and heart to opportunity. You need to decide if the opportunity is right for you at that point in your life. I thought long and hard about the opportunity of seeking office of county commissioner. And I decided, what do I have to risk? If I win, I win. And if I lose, I lose. This is lesson number three. You never know unless you try. You will be amazed at what you can accomplish if you just try. Perhaps you are a great youth mentor or community organizer. Perhaps you can move people with your artistic talents or heal people. Or perhaps you will start your own company that will revolutionize our community and the world. Whatever your faculties, whatever your skills, you won't know what profound impact you can have unless you try. Now, I'm not saying life will always be easy and that everything will magically fall into place. It takes work, commitment, time, and dedication to pursue your dreams. There will be challenges. People may not support your vision or believe in you. 
People may be unsupportive of your goals or try to prevent you from succeeding. People may not identify with your innovation or want to compete with you. This is lesson number four. Believe in yourself. If you don't believe in you, how can others believe in you? If people tell you no, so what? Just make sure that you aren't telling yourself no. Don't set limits for yourself. There will be enough people trying to do that for you. When I decided to run for county commissioner, there were some residents who were very supportive, and there were those who were cautious. Some folks were unsure about me, whether it was because of my age, my experience, or something else. But I couldn't let someone else's opinion deter me from believing in myself. In the end, the majority of voters gave me the opportunity to serve and prove myself. This is lesson number five. Give people a chance. At some point in our lives, someone believed in us, whether it was a parent or a child, a professor or a spouse, a boss or a neighbor. We need to give others a chance to succeed as well. As you prepare to continue your life journey, I hope you will keep learning, even though you will no longer be in the halls of Adams State College. I hope you will be open to opportunity, and remember that you will never know what you can accomplish unless you try. Believe in yourself, and believe enough in others to give people a chance. Congratulations, 2011 graduates of Adams State College. Live your dreams, even those that you don't know exist today. Take on the unknown, time, and life. Best of luck. Will the Associate of Arts, the Associate of Science, the Bachelor of Arts, the Bachelor of Science, the Bachelor of Fine Arts candidates please stand? Mr. President, upon, on behalf of the faculty of Adams State College and pursuant to the completion of all requirements for the Associate of Arts, the Associate of Science, the Bachelor of Arts, the Bachelor of Science, the Bachelor of Fine Arts degrees, as prescribed by the faculty of Adams State College, I recommend the appropriate degree be conferred. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees for Adam State College, and upon completion of all requirements prescribed, I do confer upon you the degree of Associate of Science, Associate of Art, Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Fine Arts, with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereunto appertaining. Congratulations. Will Dr. Ed Crowther and the associate degree graduates please approach the platform? Say our gong. <laughs> Joanna Pope. Joanna Casillas Medina. Amparo Contreras, Tisha Nicole Gonzalez, Didi Dawn Jaramillo, Mace Nicole King, Carlos Fernando Martinez, Kristen Deanne Shoemaker, Marcus T. Vanderman. <laughs> Associates, degree students, please be seated. Will the bachelor's degree graduates of arts and letters please approach the platform? Haley Boggs. 
Sonny Chavez. Jesse Anthony Guerrero. Glenn Hawthorne. Adeline Lerma Flores. Zachary Lee Lewis. Alexandra B. Marcus. Mary Catherine McDonald. Winona D. Miller. Greg L. Mortensen. Marcus I. Ortiz. Annalise Pradal. Angelita Juliana Ramirez. Vanessa Victoria Romero. Charles Anthony Rowan. Billy A. Salazar. Melissa K. Slim. Solange Zanetti. and let us graduates please be seated. Will Dr. Ed Lyell and the bachelor degree graduates of business please approach the platform. Charlotte Ann Cecil, Michael O. Davis, Sherry Renee DeSalte, Hannah Fasick, Mary Gorman, Simona Veronica Gillian, Brandon Johnson, Holly Christine Martinez. Maximiliano Joseph Roybal. David Salazar. Alicia Schreiber. Jerry Dennis Smith. Ashley Snow. Terry W. Van Bibber. Congratulations, and will the business school and graduates sit down. Will Dr. Joel Judd and the bachelor's degree graduates of education and human performance and physical education please approach the platform. Soshi Aguilera. Tammy Melissa Ash. Forrest Christian Becker. Karen Beth Carnahan. Shana Beth Cooper. Charlotte Rose Cunningham. 
Patricia Evanson. Alicia B. Gallegos. Cody Hig. Laura Ann Jameson. Crystal Locke. Casey Anna Marie Morrow. Trevor Dylan Carney. Kelsey Jean McSpadden. Chris B. Medina. Giovanna Ann Miller. Cassie Hoa Mitchell. Jamie D. Morgan. Jenny Vanette Noonan. Christina Brianna Tensing. Education graduates will please be seated. Will Dr. Martin Jones and the bachelor's degree graduates of science, mathematics, and technology please approach the platform? Francisco Castillo. Tyler Christensen. James Hughes. Kelly Marie Kern. Kayla Renee Lanoue. Science and math graduates, please be seated. Will all Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, and Bachelor of Fine Arts graduates please stand? To signify your new academic status, Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, and Bachelor of Fine Arts graduates may now switch your cap tassels from the right to the left. You may be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a long-standing tradition at Adams State College to give special recognition to those who have graduated with honors. To make that recognition more visible, honors graduates are identified in your program by the asterisk beside the student's name. 
A student whose grade point average is 3.5 to 3.74 on a four-point scale throughout four years may be graduated cum laude, or with honors. A student whose grade point average is 3.75 to 3.89 throughout four years may graduate magna cum laude, with high honors. A student who graduates whose grade point average throughout four years is 3.9 or above may graduate summa cum laude or with highest honors. Would those students graduating cum laude please stand? Please be seated. Would those students graduating magna cum laude please stand? You may be seated. Would those students graduating summa cum laude please stand? You may be seated. Again, congratulations. I'd like to acknowledge some uh, uh, longtime supporters and folks who are very important to Adam State College who are with us today. Uh, seated up here to my left, we have Miss Kathy Rogers, the mayor of Alamosa. Kathy, thank you for coming. And seated next to Kathy is Mr. Tony Cantu, who is on our alumni board. Tony, thanks for coming. Uh, representing Senator Bennett in the San Luis Valley is Ms. Charlotte Babisky. Charlotte. <laughs> representing Senator Udall, Ms. Erin Meeks. Erin. And representing repre Representative Tipton, Ms. Brenda Felmley. Brenda, thank you for coming. And, and that is, really is not Santa Claus sitting next to uh, Aaron. That is our uh, emeritus professor, Mr. Ted McNeil Smith. Ted, thanks for coming. And also with us is Ms. Sandy Ortega, also on our alumni board. Sandy, th thanks. Thanks again to, Ms. to Christina for a great commencement address. Uh, she is certainly a great role model for you all. And uh, you know, sometimes your opportunities start at home. They don't necessarily start in a faraway place. Uh, I, I particularly want to thank this graduating class. And I think uh, Trustee Valdez already expressed it, that through your support, uh, we've managed to start this remodel of our campus. Uh, we will, in this spring, take another uh, uh, wing of Geralt you know, the crummy one, offline and remodel it, and we'll continue to do that. And we're going to remember you all for a long time. If you read the plaque that's uh, on the new dorm, it has these words. On the 89th anniversary of Adams State College, in dedication to the students at Adams State, this building was funded by the students of ASC and the generous donations of benefactors. Uh, we'll remember you for a long time. And remember, this is your college. You're always welcome back here. I'd like to welcome to thank our music department. They're just absolutely amazing. They always do such a great job. Thank you. I'd also like to thank all of the family members, partners, uh, and so forth who provided encouragement and support to these graduates. If you're a spouse, a brother, a sister, a partner, a dad, a mom, a grandparent, a great-grandparent, or a child of one of these graduates, please stand and be recognized. And as these graduates know, we have a fantastic faculty at Adams State College, and uh, they have uh, endured some hardships over the last year or so, uh, particularly those who call home former 
ES building, now known as McDaniel Hall. And uh, I know it always hasn't been easy. I know the move isn't done, but I think I want to thank you, uh, tell you how much I appreciate your professionalism and your hard work and forging ahead in spite of the challenges that you faced. Uh, and all the rest of you, thanks for what you do for our students. Stand up so we can recognize you, faculty. Adam State is also fortunate, and as certainly pertinent as we stand in this room, to have many fine athletic coaches who also mem mentor their student athletes, make sure they go to class, check their grades, and do all those kinds of things. And they play a very important role in our student athlete success. Will the coaches and assistant coaches who are present please stand and be recognized? And of course, the good news is that our men beat the Red Weenies last night. So, uh, the, the staff and administration at M State also need to be applauded. Uh, for this event to occur, grades had to be entered, bill payments accepted, degree plans audited, food cooked, buildings opened, and all the other invisible processes that made the make the college run had to work. Well, the administration and classified staff who are here today, please stand and be recognized. And finally, just a few hours, you know, look around this room, it'll look completely different. The pad will be off the floor, the stage will be gone, uh, and it'll, it'll be prepped and ready for the next, next athletic event. Our facility services, like many of our uh, areas on campus is short-staffed, and they had to turn this room around in a day on Thursday, and I just want to, or actually yesterday, and I want to thank them for their continued hard work and dedication. Uh, we couldn't stay open as a college without your hard work. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Rodney. And thanks to all of the young people who hung around to act as our ushers. Uh, they actually gave up going home a day early, and so thanks all of you. And Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to all of you. Please stand for the singing of the alma mater. The words can be found in the front inside of your cover. We request that members of the audience please remain seated until all the graduates have filed out. Thank you. Will the ushers and banner carriers please take their positions?
Thank <laughs> you. 